Today we're going to be cooking a uh, venison tip roast. Uh, most of you will recognize that. It's kind of a little football shaped roast. Uh, a lot of people stake this out, but there's a fair amount of connective tissue in it. So uh, I, I like to cook it whole as a roast. And today we're going to do a crock pot dish. Uh, first step is to season it up. Season it fairly liberally. This is a big piece of meat. So I like to use salt. I like to use a little Cavender's Greek seasoning. I use that on just about all of my venison. It's a good all around blend. A little black pepper. And a little bit of a garlic powder. Now that you've got it all seasoned up, uh, the next step is going to be to uh, brown it in a skillet. Uh, it's an important step for any time you're doing meat in a crock pot or a stew pot or anything like that. Uh, if you brown it first, uh, you're going to get a lot better flavor out of it. This is just a little bit of uh, vegetable oil in the bottom of the skillet. We're not worried about cooking it at all. We're just trying to get a little bit of color on it. Just takes a few minutes. All right, the uh, final step in this recipe is to uh, transfer it over to a crock pot. I like to pour on about half a can of beef broth. Just to get a little moisture in there. This is uh, just a pack of uh, onion soup mix, uh, any brand. Just pour that right over the top of the roast. Dump in uh, one sliced onion. And then uh, your favorite style of a uh, jarred pepper. Uh, any of them work fine, just whatever you like. And I usually pour the whole bottle in, uh, juice and all. Then uh, put the lid on it and walk away. About uh, six to seven hours later on and you'll have a finished product. All right, you can see here that our roast has uh, broken down. It's mixed in with the onions and the peppers. Uh, quite a bit of juice in there. Uh, my absolute favorite way to serve this is on a hoagie bun. Spread you a little bit of that on there. Get some peppers and onions on top of it. Then you can top that with a cheese of choice. This is provolone and uh, it makes an absolute wonderful sandwich. 